All right, back with another video. So I had to rip apart the entire uh, setup that I had. The foam tape was more of a ghetto fix than I thought. Not only did it start to look stupid after a while, but I never anticipated the fact that once it got hot outside, the adhesive actually started coming off and wouldn't stick to there. So although there's some adhesive stuck to it, it didn't stick to the foam anymore and it was just crap and falling off. So I'd go down the road and the whole thing would just come out like this. So I will take some goo gone and I'll clean this area up here a little bit. So what I did is I went back to my original project. There's my son Big T. Okay. Um, so I'm going back to this wood block that I made and I think I showed a little bit of it in the first video. Um, it needs a lot of work. It's split on me, so I'm going to take this thing apart, chisel this out. I just made a hole for the voltage meter, so that'll work good. Uh, and the hole actually came out perfect, and I'm hoping, because of the fact that it's recessed like that, that when the light is in there, I'll be able to see it during the daytime because it'll be all blacked out. So we'll see how that goes. So right now, looks like we're going to take this thing apart and sand this off, maybe and take my chisel to it and try and make this the right size so we can get this plate back in. Um, also I'll point out that with the original fix that you know we're not going to use this plate here anymore, there's no need to and having that block of wood will make it stick out a little bit farther and it'll just be a little bit nicer for what I need. Um, that said Taking the stereo out of the bike wasn't as hard as I, it should have been, but I think because of how the pressure was, wherever my stereo went, there it is. I think because with how the thing sits like this inside the bike, it just lifted a little bit, and I was able to hold it in place, because there really is a small, I mean, it really fits in there quite nicely. So, that's well, that's just that. So I'm going to finish up on the wood thing here, me and Big T, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, going back to a ghetto fix, I tried fiberglass thing. I got all the pieces back in there. Uh, ended up creating a wedge to put in that space there uh, to get it to open up all the way. Tried fiberglassing. Um, the fiberglass you hear perfectly you hear it everywhere else. It just really kind of, it just didn't. Um, really had to peel a bunch away to get all the bubbles out of there and kind of even it out a little bit. Um, so what I did do is I came back with some um, natural interior wood putty. Um, so it's meant to repair holes and stuff like that. And I got a dresser in here that I'm working on, so that just happened to be handy. Right now I just filled in all the holes um, where I cut out the fiberglass, and I'm just waiting for that to dry. Then I'll sand it down. Then I'll spray paint it black and put it in the bike. I initially was going to use these here with the acorn nuts. Um, I think I'm going to go with screws instead and just screw it right into there. Um, I mean, either way it can come apart, but this way it might be a little bit more um, easier for me to take it out if I ever need to take it out again. So that's kind of what it looks like at this point. And I'm going to spray paint it and then we'll uh, go from there. Still a little ghetto, but not too bad. Um, I just don't know how to work with fiberglass. You can see I've got all the mesh here. It looks pretty nice, so... Like on the Valley Street, it sits 1039W. But it gives me a good display on the voltage meter that I didn't have before. Hopefully I'll be able to see that during the daytime when the sun is shining. Uh, as I mentioned once before, with the green light, you just can't see it at all um, during the daytime. So hopefully that'll fix that issue. Otherwise, it's all one solid piece, and it's ready to rock.